Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on Tarte Cosmetics Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen Palette. This is a brand new limited edition palette from Tarte Cosmetics, which is available at Ulta and Sephora, and of course Tarte's website. Now these are selling out like hotcakes. I've seen it sell out once already on its initial release, so be sure to get your hands on it before it completely sells out. I'm a little bit skeptical of this palette at first because I'm not a huge fan of Graveyard Girl. I used to watch her back in the day, her videos on does this thing really work? And I thought that those videos were pretty funny, witty. Um, I liked watching her process of testing if things really worked, but anything involving, cosme anything involving cosmetics, I thought she was <laughs> Also her weird videos and targets of her like screaming into the camera. Kinda, I don't know, just rubbed me the wrong way. Not a fan. That being said, if I see a good palette, of course I'm gonna support it. So, this palette I was skeptical about. I saw closer shots of it and I was like, you know what? I have to have that. So, I picked up the palette and as you can see, it looks like wooden, it looks like a wooden design on the front. It's got a little metallic sign, an alligator. Her thing is like the alligator with wings, I don't remember why. Um, and also the back feels textured like wood. When you open it up, you have a beautiful big sized mirror, very beautiful metallic packaging. Like really, like when I see her, I kind of imagine like more hillbilly kind of look. Like, like I wouldn't think of something so sleek being involved with her. Again, no hate or shade on her. So I would think of something a little bit more rugged. This seems very sleek, very high end, whereas I don't feel like it matches her, her brand of personality, so to say. That being said, these shades are gorgeous, and I have to say, if she picked these out, then she has fantastic taste. Um, like I said, I was just a little shocked because it was so polished. Now, here are some swatches. As you see, these performed really well. High pigmentation, smooth, buttery, easy to blend out. I liked that it's both an eye and cheek palette. And the first shade is Sweet Tea, which you saw was um a light shade. I feel like it would be more suited to light medium skin tones. Then we had Does This Thing Really Work? I felt happy when I saw that because I was like, yeah, I did like those videos of her. And I liked the soft cold shimmer in it. I thought that was nice for blush. And But my favorite of this whole palette was Gator Wings which is this highlight right here. I just loved it. I'm wearing it today on my face. I'm wearing a lot of this palette on my face today, but I thought that this highlight was the bomb. Just so pretty. It's a pretty highlight. I feel like the highlighted version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but in a good way. So as for the shadows, you have like three distinct, you have three rows. Each one I feel gives a distinct look. You have the more everyday shades ending with the bricky brown color here. Then you have the second row. I really like the second row and I'm wearing the second row on my eyes today. This is a more like everyday kind of like naked palette look. And then the bottom features very purple, soft muted purple shades ranging from the light, ranging from a light kind of lavender all the way up to a deeper mid purple. And in terms of color range, I thought that it was a nice color range, especially for everyday looks. Also, you can do a look like this. Um, it did come with a brush which featured the gold packaging and also kind of like a wooden texture on the bottom. So it really matches the palette accurately. In terms of fading, I didn't see fading until 11 hour mark. I mean, I had these on all day sans primer and they were good to go. This look here today, I did wear 
with an eye primer. I haven't seen them fade at all and I'm about on hour 10. So if you put a primer underneath these they're going to last even longer but 11 hours by themselves is pretty awesome. The metallic shades such as Sassy Bun which is the gold shade in the middle here. I'm wearing that on my eye. I applied that wet and it just amplified it so much. Uh, Sippy Sip has that gold glitter in it. As you can see it's a deep chocolate brown with gold glitter. Treat this shade like a glitter because I tell you right now it's Fallout City. Even though these shades are buttery, it's not going to retain its glitter unless you're patting it on and you have a strong sticky base underneath or you're treating it like a glitter and putting a glitter adhesive underneath because otherwise if you're using a fluffy brush this glitter is dissipating. You're not really going to see it so treat that one a little bit kinder. Overall, I thought this palette was a must-have if you're looking to switch up your everyday makeup routine. Plus, the inclusion of the face shades just absolutely makes it worth it. Honestly, if they would have did this strip here as a separate own piece, I would have bought it in a heartbeat. In terms of do you really need this, I think that the packaging is beautiful, but I wouldn't buy it based on the packaging alone because we all know what happens. We buy something that says beautiful packaging, goes to the drawer, it never sees the light of day again. I think you should get this if you're looking to switch up your everyday makeup routine. If you're looking for everyday wearable shades, shades you can wear to work. For example, if you like the naked palettes or the chocolate palettes and you're looking for something along those lines, something everyday makeup, no makeup makeup looks, highlighted look, great. And it's also good for travel because you have your eyeshadows, you have your brush here included, and you also have your face panel right here. I have, I did the, the highlight contour and blush with this and I loved the way it looked. Um, honestly, if you don't have these shades already, absolutely pick this up. And for the quality alone, I feel like it would be worth picking up. The price point for this is about the average price of a Tarte palette, and that's $45. If you look at other Tarte palettes, they're about the same price. So even though this is limited edition and has the pretty packaging, you're not paying more for it. Each eyeshadow square gives you one gram of product. The blush, the bronzer, and the highlight all contain 3.2 grams of product. So you're getting a decent amount of product in this palette. So guys, did you pick up the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette? If you did, let me know what you guys thought. And if you didn't, is this something you guys would want to pick up? As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.